I'm Haley. And I'm Bree. And that's Elise. And now it's time for CHS Today. The English academic team will meet this Wednesday in L. Davis's room during SRE. We will debrief the meet from last Wednesday and discuss the next meet. Any students interested in being in choir next, next school year who are not currently in choir should see Ms. Schaefer before February 1st. There are some changes coming to choir classes being offered and dancing is no longer required for choir and performances. There will be a student handbook revision meeting tomorrow at 7.30 in the library. President Biden will be signing an executive offer today to promote the Buy American Agenda, which aims to use the federal procurement process to bolster us manufacturing with this order. Agencies are directed to strengthen requirements about purchasing products and serve, serves. Dr. Anthony Fosby made an announcement today that the recent drop in COVID-19 cases across the U.S. cannot be attributed to the vaccines. So people should remain as cautious and possible and continue to practice keeping themselves and others safe. However, he believes we will soon be seeing dramatic influences in the drop of COVID cases as the vaccine is distributed across the country. Macias Santiago was arrested for asking a passing bicycle officer for information about the Oval Office after his car was searched and unlicensed pistol and 80 rounds of ammunition was found. He had asked a passing officer if he was able to park along Constitution Avenue and the officer noticed he had a gun holster on his belt and discovered Santiago had a Smith & Wesson 40 caliber pistol loaded with eight round magazines and 79 rounds of ammunition. Santiago was transferred to the Metropolitan Police Department for questioning. Sarah and Carly went around the school today to test students with random trivia questions. Hey CHS, we're finally on a normal schedule, so we decided to go around and ask people random trivia questions. <laughs> what is the tiny piece at the end of a shoelace called? Isn't it an aglet? Yes. Thank you, Phineas and Ferb. <laughs> what U.S. state has the longest border with Canada? No clue. Julie Andrews won the Academy Award for Best Actress due to her 1964 performance in what movie? <laughs> Why would I know that? <laughs> Mary Poppins. What is the capital of Japan? Hogwarts. <laughs> How many items are in a baker's dozen? Twelve. <laughs> oh <my laughs> What's the largest animal on the planet? A whale. Yes. Where do kiwi fruit originate? <laughs> Guatemala. <laughs> Today, Senior Council will be receiving 10% of all sales at Wings, etc. All proceeds will go toward the 2021 Senior Prom. Please attend to help support your senior class. Our quarantine requirements have changed for, for CHS and surrounding Indiana schools. Considering we all come back Monday, it's good for everyone to know the requirements. The Governor of Ohio implemented a no quarantine policy and it seems to have gone really well. Up to this point, schools in Indiana are starting to, to implement this into their quarantine requirements as well. We will begin this no quarantine policy on Monday, January 25th. Parents will still have a choice to quarantine their child after notified of close contact, but it will not be a requirement. Although if you are close in contact, please be diligent on wearing your mask, sanitizing and social distancing. If you happen to develop symptoms, you should take precautions to not expose others. Lunch for tomorrow is savory Salisbury steak, mashed potatoes, and a whole grain dinner roll, a spicy chicken sandwich, and a pepperoni and cheese calzone. And now I go to Victoria with the weather. Thanks, guys. This afternoon, it will be 32 degrees with 100% of a wintry mix. We'll start to see a little bit of snow, sleet, and freezing rain. This evening, it'll be a little bit warmer with 34 degrees and a 60% chance of rain. And tomorrow, it'll be 37 degrees and snowing. Looking into the week, Tuesday, we'll have more of a wintry mix with a high of 41, low of 28. Wednesday, it'll be cloudy with a high of 30, low of 18. 
Thursday and Friday, we'll start to see the sun again with a high of 28, low of 18, and Friday is a high of 36, low of 25. That's all for the weather. Now back to the desk. Now over to Lise with the sports. Thanks, ladies. The boys' varsity basketball team won against Batesville 40-27 to Saturday night. Leading scores for the Spartans were Jonah Graham with 8, Kayla Sparks with 8, and Cole Martin with 7. The record is now 10-3, and, and they will be next in action Friday against Mount Vernon. Sports action for tonight is girls' freshman basketball at home at 6 and 7.30, boys' freshman basketball at Batesville at 6. Good luck, Spartans. Now back to the desk with birthdays. Birthdays for today are Dusty Davis, Austin Burge, Kaylee Hogger, Brayden Highlander, and Landon Shaw. Happy birthday. I hate Mondays. It's early release, and that's all for CHS Today.